Bonjour, this is Emma at Words and Peace. Today I'd like to talk to you about two things, about a book blogging event going on right now and about my little street. So right now, until the end of the month, there's the Travel the World in Books Readathon co-hosted by five wonderful book bloggers and you can see the links under the video. I'd like to situate this event in context. Right now, there's a trend among book bloggers and readers in general, I believe, that's to be more attentive to diversity in reading, which can mean diversity in genre, in the authors, in their cultures and the countries where they are from, all the countries where the books are set. And my most uh, memorable and enriching experience in reading is definitely one I did a few years ago. Uh, so in the course of two years, I read books related to 53 different countries. It was really fascinating to experience this diversity and how different authors from different cultures approached um, different ways of writing. An interesting way of traveling the world in books uh, would be to read these books through the Nobel Prizes in Literature. And that's a suggestion of a, a different uh, reading challenge I'm giving you right now. So, so far, the Nobel Prize in Literature has been awarded to authors coming from 41 different countries. And this year, the winner is Vetlana Alexeyevich. She's a woman. She's from Belarus. And this is the first time this country has won the Nobel Prize in Literature. And her work is nonfiction. So, bingo, you have it. Three big reason um, to have you read her work if you're interested in diversity. But the book I would like to present to you today was written by last year winner of this uh, Nobel Prize of Literature, and that's Patrick Modiano. He's French. Um, by the way, you may know that France is the country that most often won the Nobel Prize of Literature 15 times. And for once, I was very familiar with this winner I actually fell in love with Patrick Modiano's writing back when I was a teen. You may think it's a bit silly to read a French winner of Nobel Prize in translation when I am French myself, but this book was right there on the shelf at my public library, so really, how could I resist? Uh, the book was published last year in France and uh, in translation in English this year. Oh, uh, <laughs> I better tell you what the book is. This is uh, So You Don't Get Lost in the Neighborhood. In French, it's called uh, Pour que tu ne te perdes pas dans le quartier. The story is about Jean Darragan. Darragan lives alone in a Paris apartment, is like almost, um, almost in seclusion. And one day he receives a phone call. Um, a guy has found his phone book and he would like to get together so I can, he could give it back to him. And But this man recognizes a name in this phone book and uh, he wants Darragan to tell him about this man and where he could be right now. So there's a kind of mystery in, uh, in the book. It's kind of a common element in Modiano's books you could consider it's in between uh, literary fiction and mystery, though it's, it's almost for mystery. Um, meaning, well, it's never really going to be resolved anyway. Uh, no big secret to tell you this. And really, you don't really read Modiano for the plot or for the story. You read Modiano for the ambiance. The ambiance is always grayish in the sense of misty with a great importance given to memory and I would say the main character is Paris and so there's a lot of uh, walking in the streets of Paris. So I'm going actually to read you uh, just a few little passages to try to give you a little sense of, uh, of his writing. He remembered that his mother once acted in a nearby theater and that his father had an office at the very end of the street on the left, at 73 Boulevard Haussmann. He was astonished that he still remembered the number 73, but all this past had become so translucent with time, a mist that dissipated in the sunlight. 
a bit further on, these memories drifted away like bubbles of soap or fragments of a dream that vanished on waking. So memories, dream, are sometimes even dreams giving a special filter on reality. Uh, here are more passages to show you this. The fronts of the buildings and the crossroads had, over the course of years, become an inner landscape that had eventually come to cover over the sleek and well-stuffed Paris of the present day. This is page 137. And one last passage that really show you the personification of Paris in his books. Over the course of the past 50 years, he had often come here and had done so even during his childhood when his mother took him to Printemps, the large department store a little further up the boulevard. But this evening, his city seemed unfamiliar to him. He had cast off all the bonds that could still bind him to her, but perhaps it was she who had rejected him. This is on page 18. So I highly recommend you this book. It's a very short book, 155 pages. It's written in a very accessible way, and I believe it's an excellent translation from the French. The translator really respected the short sentences by Modiano and really managed very well to convey that misty ambiance that's so typical of the author. So if you want the gratification to read a uh, accessible, wonderful book by a Nobel Prize winner of literature, go for it. Uh, so you don't get lost in the neighborhood by Patrick Modiano. This is it for today and I encourage you to join us and travel the world in books uh, with the readathon going on until the end of the month. Happy trails!